I think I'm rolling. All right, Eric, here we go is the Econo Chopper. This is a demo model. This ruler will go out to a full 60 inches. First, let's start with the cutter itself. It's a guillotine style cutter that uses a single edge razor blade. This razor blade can be loosened and adjusted back and forth to alleviate when you get gunky spots. You can always have a fresh blade. Now, why is this important? For this instructional example, we're gonna do a 24 by 36 frame, and this is the orientation of your spacer layout, where the top spacer goes from edge of the glass to the edge of the glass, supported by the two vertical pieces, and the bottom piece sitting, sitting inside. So what you're gonna do with this, is this is the slide stop assembly. You set it 24 inches for your top cut. Now you have your top spacer. Now for the bottom spacer, it's not gonna be 24 inches, be 24 minus the thickness of these two verticals. So we have these two uh, clips here that compensate for the thickness of the spacer. So you just flip both of those down, make your second cut. You've measured once, you've gotten two cuts, now you have your top and your bottom. Then for the vertical pieces, set your stop at 36 inches, but it's 36 inches minus the width of the top spacer. So for this scenario, you would just drop down one of the compensators, and now you have your four spacers. If you have a row of the same size of project that you're working on, you got 10 posters that you're gonna do, you can sit here and quickly chop up all the spacers that you need. Now, your concern was the cut, the breakage, the crushing of the material, which I have seen. This being a single edge razor blade and extremely sharp and a guillotine style, put it in here, go right down, no crushing. See if you can get a close up on that. That's gonna be clean for perfect butt joints every time. So I will send with Bennett the instructional flyer for this chopper. You guys can take a look at it. We do have a show special, but I do honor the show special for people that call in and say they attended for about a week or two after the show ends. And Thanks for my, my name is Michael with Frame Tech, and it's been a pleasure making a video for you. Thank you, and out from Las Vegas. <laughs> okay, once again, we have Frame Tech and Michael uh -huh. giving us a walkthrough on the different applications of Frame Space, Rabbit Space, Econo Space for framing applications. Perfect. So you're familiar with the peel and stick style spacer. What we have is another type of spacer that uses no adhesive whatsoever. And in fact, what it does, bring your camera over this way, is we manufacture this channel right here that the glass slides into. This has a slight taper on it from the factory so that it grips very well. So you never have to deal with any more adhesive mess. This can be pulled off and repaired at any time. If your glass breaks, if you want to change the depth in your spacer, you can pull that right off. Now, there's two things to keep in mind here. When we manufacture this channel, we make it to fit a specific thickness of glass. So that's the first, I would say, asterisk when going to order the product. So two millimeter versus 2.5 millimeter versus very one eighth important. inch acrylic is very important. So let's just so say we want point. half inch airspace and we want uh, two millimeter glass. Well, we go over here, we have three different half inch airspace options, but you can see three dash two millimeter. One is specifically designed to grip a thinner two millimeter piece of glass. So now what do you do? You bought your corresponding profile piece so now it comes to installation. Here's my sample piece of my glass. The other asterisk when using this product is that the edges cannot be sharp. It cannot be a perfect 90, 90, 90 box. So what we recommend is swiping the edge of your glass with a whetstone just to take that sharp edge off, round the corner a little bit, because when we manufacture this spacer, as stated before, there's a taper involved in there. And getting that taper over a squared edge is gonna be very difficult. Once you've swiped the edges of your glass, now the spacer can grip right on. You push it down with your thumb. It goes all the way across. There's no measuring whatsoever. You cut this product while, during installation. So I put one piece on here. I'm gonna get my handy dandy anvil pruners. Put the sharp edge right up to the edge of the glass. I cut. Then I rotate 90 degrees, and you want to do continue this process in a pinwheel fashion. So I get my next piece on here, poke it down, drop, 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 get my cutters, do a snip, and what you're going to end up with here is I'll get my demo frame. You're going to end up with a nice 
butt joint, but it's gonna look mitered the way that it's put together. Now, benefits, once again, let's say my glass breaks, let's say something changes, I need to do something else. Well, guess what? I can just pop these spacers right off. I can do any maintenance that I need to do, replace any glass that I need to, and I can reinstall very easily. The other selling point about this style is by having the edge of your glass protected, you can now put these in to metal frames with ease and not have to worry about chipping or breaking your glass pieces. And I think that is the basic information. We go from 1 8 inch is our smallest, and we make all the way up to 3 quarters of an inch, making shadow boxes like this a breeze because this is framed up in a minute or two instead of cutting the stripping map board for your box. So there we have it for the latest in frame space applications from Michael from Oregon. You got it. Take care. <laughs> See you later, Eric. Good luck. <laughs>